Kamala Harris directs her criticism at Donald Trump's style and approach, portraying him as self-serving and detached from the real needs of Americans. She accuses him of spending more time airing grievances, spreading falsehoods, and launching personal attacks rather than addressing the concerns of everyday people at his rallies. In her view, Trump's focus is solely on his own interests, ignoring the needs of children, parents, and the broader public. If you really need to know how he thinks since he doesn't do these kinds of interviews, watch his rallies. Mm -hmm. yeah. He spends full time engaged in grievance about what has happened to him. Right. Mm -hmm. He true. spends full time perpetuating lies and misinformation. He spends full time talking about fictional characters, <laughs> you know, I name mean, calling. A lot of name and calling. name calling and yeah. demeaning people, belittling people. But what he does not talk about is you. He does not talk about what you need. He does not talk about what your parents need, what your children's need. That's not what he talks about. He doesn't talk about your child's needs. He talks about his needs. <laughs> and I think, again, back to the point in this election, People are ready for a new generation of leadership that's about fixing problems. However, Harris's critique may overlook the core of Trump's appeal. His supporters argue that his focus on economic growth, job creation, national security, and restoring American pride is aimed directly at the ordinary Americans who feel left behind by the political system. Trump's populist message has tapped into the frustrations of many presenting him as a fighter against a corrupt elite and a voice for the forgotten Americans, who see him as their champion. While his confrontational style divides opinion, his base views it as proof of his willingness to challenge political correctness and entrench power. Harris's emphasis on Trump's personal grievances may fail to grasp the deeper reasons behind his enduring support. To many of his followers, Trump's criticism of the media, political establishment, and his opponents reflect their own sense of alienation. His populist rhetoric resonates as a defense of their values, not just a reflection of his own interests. Additionally, Harris's call for a new generation of leadership might seem paradoxical to some, given that the Biden administration is frequently criticized for prioritizing progressive agendas and political correctness over effective governance. Under Biden and Harris, issues like inflation, crime, and border security have worsened, leaving many to feel that their focus on ideological goals has come at the expense of solving real-world problems. Harris's promises to fix problems may therefore sound hollow to those who believe the current administration has only deepened the crises facing America.